Pembroke Welsh Corgi Genetics, The Tale of Tailless Tales Pembroke Welsh Corgis are known for their adorable looks, short legs, and distinctive dock tails. However, have you ever wondered why some corgis have naturally short tails while others have longer ones? The answer lies in their genetics. In this video, we will delve into the fascinating world of Pembroke Welsh Corgi genetics and explore the tale of tailless tails. 1. The Origin of Pembroke Welsh Corgis Before we delve into the genetics of tail length, let's understand the origin of Pembroke Welsh Corgis. These charming dogs have a rich history that dates back centuries. They were originally bred in Wales for herding cattle and were highly valued for their intelligence and agility. Their compact size and low stature allowed them to nip at the heels of cattle without getting kicked. 2. The Genetics of Tail Length One of the most intriguing aspects of Pembroke Welsh Corgis is their tail length. Some corgis are born with long, fluffy tails, while others have naturally short tails known as bobtails. The genetics behind this variation can be explained by a recessive gene known as the bobtail gene. Pembroke Welsh Corgis will often take on a protective role, keeping a close eye on the little ones and ensuring their safety. 3. Understanding Recessive Traits To understand the genetics of tail length, we need to first understand recessive traits. Unlike dominant traits that only require one copy of the gene to be expressed, recessive traits need two copies of the gene for the characteristic to be visible. In the case of Pembroke Welsh Corgis, the gene for long tails is dominant, while the gene for short tails is recessive. For the role of the bobtail gene, the bobtail gene in Pembroke Welsh Corgis is known as the T-box gene, specifically the T-gene variant, which is responsible for regulating the development of tails. While corgis with two copies of the T gene variant have short tails, those with one or no copies of the gene have long tails. 5. Inheritance Patterns The inheritance patterns for tail length in Pembroke Welsh corgis can be quite complex. If two corgis that carry the bobtail gene mate, they have a 25% chance of producing offspring with two copies and having short tails, a 50% chance of producing offspring with one copy and having long tails and a 25% chance of producing offspring with no copies and also having long tails. 6. The Evolution of Tail Docking Historically, corgis with long tails were often docked to conform to breed standards and avoid injuries while working. Tail docking is the practice of removing a puppy's tail shortly after birth. However, in many countries, this practice has been outlawed and breeders now prioritize preserving the natural tail length. 7. Health Considerations While tail docking was once a standard practice, we must consider the health implications of removing a corgi's tail. Tails are an essential part of a dog's communication system and play a role in balance. Without a tail, corgis may have difficulty expressing themselves through tail wagging or face challenges with balance and coordination. Pembroke Welsh corgis are undoubtedly a fascinating breed with their unique body structure and tailless tails. Understanding the genetics behind their tail length adds another layer of intrigue to their story.